Central manager John Lambie keeps faith in the men who started the season with two wins and no goals again. Kick Charlie away from the 11 fresh from his hat trick against Leeton in midweek. And the central defensive barrier is provided by two very experienced men, Willie Jemison, the skipper, and Grant Tierney, who have the comfort still of having one of Scotland's most promising goalkeepers behind them. 23-year-old Craig Nelson almost moved to Crystal Palace in the cold season, but they wouldn't pay the asking price, which is Crystal fans' good fortune. Nine internationals in Rangers' starting lineup, and two more on the bench. The exceptions being John Brown, who wears a number three jersey, vacated by the injured David Robertson, and Craig Moore, the 18-year-old Australian, who starts only his second Premier Division game. The striking partnership of Duncan Ferguson and Mark Hatley scored five between them with a goal in midweek, and they'll be hoping for more quality service from the Danish international Brian Lowbrook, who missed the match in midweek playing for Denmark, but he's caught the imagination of the Rangers supporters instantly following his £2.5 million pound transfer from Fiorentina. And the match referee, whom I saw having a very fine match at Kilmarnock in midweek, is Bobby Tate from East Kilbride. So the match on the way with Rangers setting down immediately with David McPherson winning number six, playing out right back. Goff and Bully in central defence with John Brown at left back. McPherson played there briefly enough in his long career. There's Bully. Duncan Ferguson's pass under pressure there from David Byrne. That's a good return ball from Brown. Ferguson now faced by Jimison. Using John Brown behind him, Ferguson calls the ball inside. There's McCall with a shooting chance perhaps. Up out of play. That's Charlie. And now Law. A long ball and coming there for Alex Taylor, who's well forward. Ball John Brown, offering him at left back and starting the match very impressively. Bollies pass, Ferguson again tabling a left flank for Rangers. Round to Bolly. Brian Lowbrook has started the match wide on Rangers' right. This is Hagley on the break. Duncan Ferguson rides in the middle, and it was very well cut out by Jimison. Excellent play by the official captain. Rangers maintaining the pressure though. Ferguson in possession. Holding off Derek McWilliam. This is Brown. Uh, looking for a run there from Duncan Ferguson. Duncan Ferguson starting a match really on the Rangers left flank up front. Hakeley to the middle. Well, terrific experience in that official back line. David Dunn, 33. Willie Jimison, 31. Grant Tierney, 32. And Bobby Law, the longest serving. Crystal Clear, 28. Tackle there by Craig on Ian Ferguson. The major build up again from Rangers. Here's Stuart McCall. Interception was made by Byrne. Bobby Grant. Set spinning there by Bobby. A nasty exchange between the players. And referee Tate will be involved straight away here. Bobby demonstrating that very fragile temperament. There was a pass from Craig. Bobby came in to foul Roddy Grant. Now, Grant wasn't at all happy about that, but let's see the players reacting. There's Grant having a few words with Bobby. The locking of Antlers now. And the result is a couple of yellow cards for Bobby and Grant. So the free kick being taken here by Bun. Looking for Grant. Tierney also is up. Good running by Matt Williams. And John Brown heads back to safety. Very positive attack <laughs> from Patrick Crystal. Doing a lot of belief for the of a good start to the season. Brown did well. Gives 
was there. Well, by Duncan Ferguson. Is he in Ferguson? Looking for Hake into the middle. A very ambitious pass that between two Sickle players. Jim English. Away from Moore. Very glad was there with Tony. And the first tangle again there. Well, there's still a little bit of bad blood between the two players. Well, the early stage of the match and real signs of potential difficulty for Roddy Grant and Brazil Bully. A lunging tackle there from Duncan Ferguson. Hope is having to do some defending here. The throw that David Brown will take. Again with Bully. Cleared by Brown. Lords up his cross to the left. Hasn't been involved yet in the match. There he is. The advantage will apply, but Gordon was back very quickly indeed there. Oh, hectic stuff at the start of this match. With Lords up under pressure from Trey. Three kicks been given. And there was a Flying on there with Scott Lodge up on the way past from Albert Craig. Well, it's certainly clear that Bristol are really fired up for this battle. Albert Craig, very active in the middle of the field here. You see the tackle initially. Comes in here on Lodra, but there's then a, a flaring arm after the tackle. And that's what caused the problem. Very short to Nelson. Well, the keeper of the grievance there. There's Ian Ferguson. Cross the face of goal. It's in the net. And that appeared to be an own goal by David Brown. Duncan Ferguson slots back there. He was a player who put enormous pressure on the Thistle defender. But he certainly appeared in an attempt to clear to turn that in. It was a vicious dangerous ball that's played in by Ian Ferguson, which made life very difficult for the defence. Gordon was in there covering Duncan Ferguson. It certainly came off his boot and Nelson had no chance at all. English with McPherson. Here's Charney again. A law. English. Well stopped by Gordon. Playing it across, there's no range of square to collect, though, it's with Alex Taylor. Measure towards Grant, and helped on by Ian Ferguson. There certainly are some worrying lapses inside the range of half by their defence. The goal kick to Rangers. Eric McGillian trying to make an impact with his new club. by Tierney. Well, Hakeley certainly having a real battle with Tierney in the air. Cross looking for Duncan Ferguson. He did well to reach that there, Hakeley. A very good snap shot in the time. The kind of menace provided by these two strikers. Hakeley having a little bit of a burden taken off him as far as crossing is concerned by the arrival of Duncan Ferguson. You see how well Ferguson reaches this and let it down. A very good reaction from Hakeley. Tackle by Charnley, the recovery by Ferguson. This is Taylor. Running by Brown. Plenty of official players in the box and across. Uh, Bonnie with an acrobatic dive concedes the corner. Andy Gordon, I think, indicating he prefer the ball to be played upfield. Gordon looking as calm as ever in goal. Packed penalty box. Bully met that flush on the forehead. That's Taylor! Lost the cross there. 
Lopez again working the ball on the right flank. Getting the goal cut out. Well, Lopez throwing his two foot in the field. It's a late foot cross with his left foot. Putting it in there for Super Cool. It's a good goal direction right. Oh, great play by Lozo. Going all the way himself to find stop this great play. An excellent defending by David Bunn. Well, Brian Lozo beginning now to show the class that justified that huge transfer fee. Look the way he weaves through the central defense. With a fine save by Craig Nelson, full strength. But look at the part played now by Bunn as Hayley tried to cut in the rebound. Very good effort it was. And a fingertip there by Gordon. 